Welcome to its tomorrow news. I am Hena Talati. Strong spring storm arrives causing heavy rain and snow in United States. Heavy snow developed in the mountains and foothills on Tuesday afternoon followed by rain spreading across the I-25 urban corridor for the evening commute in United States. Tuesday and Wednesday have been declared first alert weather days because travel is expected to become difficult to impossible due to the heavy snowfall on high country roadways. Drier across much of the Colorado in the early morning hours will mean sunshine to start the day followed by a quick increase in the cloud cover. The center of the storm will trek across the southern Colorado and therefore the overall heaviest rain and snow in the state will likely be found south of the Colorado Springs. Meanwhile, areas farther north like Fort Collins and Greeley will end up with less total precipitation on Tuesday and Wednesday. The I-70 corridor from the Genesee to Valley Pass is under the winter storm warning from 12 p.m. on Tuesday until the 12 p.m. on Wednesday. Most of this stretch will get 8-16 inches of the snow including the mountains of the Summit County. For the south, the Sangre de Cristo Mountains will get up to 3 feet of snow thanks to the southerly track of the storm. Closer to the Denver, all locations above about 6,000 feet in the elevation in the south and west sides of the metro area are under the winter storm warnings from 6 p.m. Tuesday until 12 p.m. on Wednesday. There will be a large variability with the snowfall amounts across areas like Castleback, Franktown, Elizabeth, Red Feather Lakes, Estes Park, Idaho, Springs Valley and Evergreen but these areas should get at least 5 to 12 inches of snow. A few spots in the hard terrain of the Jefferson and Boulder counties could get up to 28 inches. Severe storms caused heavy rain and hail in the Texas on Tuesday as a slow moving storm system promises to drop substantial rainfall over the south during the next few days. The Fox Forecast Center expects another day of storm on Wednesday across the parts of the Interstate 35 corridor in Texas before the threat shifts to the central Gulf Coast on Thursday and according to the Fox Forecast Center, the greatest risks from the storms are expected to be damaging winds and hail. Communities such as Dallas, Fort Worth and Waco are under the enhanced risk of the storm on Wednesday but much of the East Texas and South Oklahoma could see activity. Most of the vast scenic valley at the heart of the Yosemite National Park in California will close to visitors this weekend in the rare shutdown prompted by the forecasters of the floods from rapid snowmelt. The closure will start at 10 p.m. on Friday and last at least until Wednesday, May 3rd, possibly longer depending on how swiftly the melting mountain snow runs off into the Merged River through the Yoshimite Valley, the National Park Service said on Tuesday. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. For more global weather updates like this, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates.